Hello, Scorpio. I just want to say cheers to all us Scorpios and cross watchers. This is to 2020 being the best year ever because so far our readings have looked amazing. I know it's been so rough on most of us, especially the fixed signs, but us Scorpios, it seems like we're going through constant chaos to get to the beauty. So cheers. This is to us. Cross watchers, welcome. I've already meditated on our cards. This is another bonus reading. I was going to do it tomorrow, but I have some personal readings to get done tomorrow, as well as some healing stone bracelets I'm shipping out. So I'm going to be quite tied up tomorrow. So let's go ahead and get started. For those of you that are brand new, welcome to Shay Tarot. I appreciate you all so very much, and the support you've been giving is absolutely beyond amazing. I just can't thank you enough. Thank you so very much. And that's how our Scorpios are. We love to give back and we love to support and um, until those prove to us that they don't deserve it, right Scorpio? <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. So for those of you that are brand new, I'm using the 1950s deck, sorry, the 1960s deck and the 1970s deck. So one deck is 60 years old and one deck is 50 years old. Okay, and the reason why I've done that is because sometimes I can get duplications of cards, which shows me without a doubt that that's exactly what's going on. I mean, what more confirmation do you need? A 60-year-old deck and a 50-year-old deck sending out the same message twice to me is, well, that's all I need to know. <laughs> so this is definitely most likely a love reading. It seems to constantly come out. I cannot control the cards, okay? It is a general read. I will try to read it both ways. I always do. I try to look at every way that a card comes out, but you know, I'm picking it up intuitively and I'm, I'm feeling the messages, I'm feeling the energy and I put it out there exactly how I see it. So if this isn't resonating for you, this may not be your message, but definitely check your moon, your Venus, your rising signs in the playlist. Sometimes my moon sign resonates more for me and it might for you, or it might be your rising sign, okay? So just remember that. Let's go ahead and get started. If you do have a love interest, I have meditated on my Shacy Prism deck for your mutual energies, meaning how you and a love interest may be mutually mirroring one another, okay? And I can pick up energy of anybody around you. It doesn't have to be a love interest, okay? So you're all gonna be different. It is a general read. So I could be picking up a mother, a brother, a sister, a father. Um, it could be an ex-boyfriend, an ex-lover from years ago, whatever the case may be. And never say never, because quite often when we say that, that's when things happen. Let's get started. For those of you that are brand new, I'm doing a Healing Stone bracelet giveaway that's absolutely free. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel for free, like this video, and check me out on Facebook as well as Instagram, either or. It doesn't matter to me. You can like the page on Facebook, leave a recommendation, or go to Instagram. We all have our favorite. It's just that I'm on Facebook most of the time. First card out, Scorpio, is Nine of Wands. <clears throat> Excuse me. This information for the Healing Stone bracelets is in the description box as well as I will pin it in the comments. You get to select your charm, the size of your bracelet. The Healing Stones I wasn't happy with, all the bracelets I saw out there because I never had enough of the Healing Stones. I always found that I had to buy three or four bracelets to get the Healing Stones I wanted. So I put them all into one bracelet, as many Healing Stones as I could. This is the I Am Enough. That seems to be the most popular, but I do have other ones available. Go to shacy.com, check them out if you wish to do so, okay? Next card out, ooh, the Magician, Major Arcana, Scorpio, please, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that I always have healing stones surrounding our readings because that keeps everything positive. Seven of Swords. Ooh, what is going on? I'm gonna start clarifying. So, so far I have the Nine of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Seven of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It doesn't really matter about the signs. You know, I know that you all like to hear, but if I see one sign specifically more than the other, I will let you know. Somebody is perhaps kind of guarded here. Could be you, could be your person with that uh, Nine of Wands, but this also means protecting yourself, protecting your heart, or creating a barrier, blocking somebody, whatever the case may be. But somebody is manifesting, perhaps trying to sneak away, could be you, could be a love interest, could be somebody close to you, but somebody is thinking about kind of um, guarding their possessions. They're really guarded right now. They're either guarding their possessions, they're guarding their heart, they're guarding themselves, they're manifesting. They're trying to manifest getting away with something with somebody or getting away from somebody. Ooh, okay, let's check this out. Nine of Wands, why is the Nine of Wands here, please? For Wow, could be a Taurus or a Libra mother 
Um, it could be you or again a love interest. I'm going to keep saying that, but you know, it's always either or. But this is someone who's very abundant, very loving, very nurturing. Okay. The Empress is somebody that everybody wants to go to because they really value that person because they are so giving, because they are so loving. So this could represent you. Maybe somebody sees you as their empress and that you're guarded, you're blocking yourself, you're protecting yourself, guarding your heart, creating a barrier between you and your person. Or this could represent a mother in your life. You could be a mother of someone's children um, and you're guarding yourself from them. Or this could just indicate a Libra or a Taurus in your life, okay? It's major arcana. So this is pretty significant, okay? Ten of Wands. This is about having too much of a load to carry, being overwhelmed with just too many responsibilities here. I feel like this is you or your person feeling overwhelmed with too many responsibilities. Um, could be that somebody feels, you know, that that a mo the mother of their children is just, it's just too much, it's too much. It's it's just, it's weighing them down. Maybe they're guarding themselves against this person, the mother of their children or a Taurus or a Libra or you are, and it's just becoming too much to bear here. Somebody's manifesting, trying to get away perhaps from this relationship or this person, Taurus or Libra, mother of children. Um, again, it could be anybody. We're going to need to keep going. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Very interesting. Let's see what's going on. Somebody's at the end of the rope, though. They're wanting to get away from whatever this is. They're manifesting. They're working. They're, they're putting in the effort and trying to figure out how do I get away with what I own, basically. This is somebody that is thinking, okay? They are like, I have these possessions, and I worked for them, and they're mine, and I'm taking them, okay? So somebody's trying to work out a way to get away with the stuff that they own or they feel they've worked for, okay? And they're manifesting. They're trying to create and figure out how to do this. And it can be you. If you're in a relationship and you're like, I've had enough, I'm blocking you. Um, you know, I, I need to get out of here, but I need to get out of here with my stuff. I'm, I have too many responsibilities. I'm tired of being here, okay? That's too many cards. Let's keep going. Clarify the magician. Wow, I don't even get a chance. Okay, so it may be in the dark here. This is the sign of Pisces, but this is also another major arcana. So this is pretty, pretty significant. So somebody is making things happen, and it may not be known right now. This is totally like under the radar. Under the radar, I am planning. I am figuring things out. I'm not telling anybody about it. I'm going to just kind of tiptoe away in the night with all my stuff. I'm tired of these responsibilities. I'm blocking this person, and again, can be a Libra, a Taurus, a Pisces, Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra. Um, I forget who the magician is. I'm sorry. I've got to. I've got to remember who the magician is. You know what? Um, just a sec. Let me figure. You know what? I've forgotten. Can you believe that? The magician is air, air energy. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is, I'll look that up later. It's, it's again, it's to me, it's the energy. Somebody is wanting to get away. They feel that they have all these possessions and, you know, they've worked for them and they are keeping it under the radar, okay? They may be blocking this person. Either you're blocking somebody or somebody's blocking you or your person is blocking somebody else, the mother of their children, or they are the empress energy or they feel you are. Okay, either way. But we have a Queen of Pentacles here again. So more, it could be a Taurus Libra. Okay, it could be two people. Capricorn. But this is somebody that uh, doesn't know. Somebody that doesn't know that they are trying to manifest and make this happen. They're tired of the responsibility. Maybe, um, maybe they're responsible for their mother, watching out for their mother or the mother of their children. Wherever it is, it's been too much and it's heavy and they just want to get out of it. And it can be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Wow. Okay. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Wow, the hangman. Okay, so what your person or you are doing, and I feel this is your person, and the reason why I say that is because if you're well aware of my channel, I always tend to channel your person, our person. I'm a Scorpio too, but I always pick up their energy. And like I always say in every video, but for those of you that are brand new, you don't know this, so I'm going to say it. 
I pick up the energy of the other person 99.9% of the times. And after all, that's what we want to know because we already know how we feel. We know where we want to go. We know what we're doing. <laughs> we, who cares? We want to know what are they doing? So that's why I'm here. Anyhow, <laughs> this is the hangman. Your person is looking at every, so I'm going to say your person, but it could be you or it could be somebody else close to you. Okay. It could be a love interest. Again, anybody, somebody is looking at every angle. How can I get away with this? How can I still get away and still have my possessions intact? They're trying to manifest. They're trying to figure it out. They're trying, they're putting everything they can into, they're using all the tools they can. They're using their mind. They're using their resources. They're talking to people maybe. They're, whatever they're doing, they're using all the tools within their power to figure out how they can accomplish this goal, okay? And I feel they're blocking somebody or they're starting to set boundaries with somebody because it's been too much responsibility and they're overwhelmed and they're tired of it, quite frankly, is what I'm seeing here. So however that resonates for you. If you ever want a personal reading, go to shacy.com. I've had quite a few of them. So, um, you know, I have a lot of repeat clients and I love it. I love doing them for you as much as I love doing these. You guys have been so amazing. I have to say that again. Truly, I really appreciate it and um, every opportunity. These just wanted to come flying out, okay? Five of Wands has been coming out in our readings as well for quite some time. So, yeah, there's been conflict here, okay? Struggles perhaps within a family situation. This can also speak to competition, okay? But with this being such a lot of responsibility and overwhelming, for your person I feel like it's also been overwhelming for you but this has been something that is causing a lot of conflict a lot of chaos maybe drama within a family situation or friends um, it can even be you know um, it definitely can be a conflict within a business situation too it can be because I'm not actually seeing love here but I am seeing people here and I am seeing overwhelming responsibility. So yeah, it could be that somebody's being underhanded in a job competition as well. That's going to be for some of you, not all of you looking at this in a general perspective. Three of Pentacles. And just as I say that, this is a three of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So yeah, this is about teamwork, collaboration. It definitely could be a business and there's some underhandedness going on in a business. Somebody's trying to sneak away with some of the assets or some of the money or whatever the case may be there may be competition surrounding a job okay and and people are collaborating but this can also mean that somebody is speaking to a team of lawyers um perhaps other people regarding separation taking off how do i do this how do i get away with these assets talking to somebody uh, friends, family, um, it can be lawyers, attorneys, whatever the case may be. How do I get away with my stuff? You know, and um, they're trying to make it happen. And they're looking at every angle. And by, again, looking at every angle and manifesting, it's talking to other people and figuring out what resources they have in order to make this happen. Because, again, they're ready to lay this down. It's been too much. I'm done with it. There's been too much, um, there's been too much drama here. Fives are all about conflict and, and going through all these different challenges and all these different struggles. And somebody's tired of that struggle. They want to get away from this struggle. And they're trying to figure out how to do it. So they're using all their resources, people they know, to figure out how do I get out of here? Three of Pentacles for Scorpio, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You know what? This Wheel of Fortune, I'm going to take it. It did not want to go back in the deck. That's upside down. Sorry, I don't do reversals. I do not. I don't believe in them. Wheel of Fortune is all about a fate of destined change. So this is something that's changing. It absolutely is. Because we've got the moon, the empress, and we've got the hangman and the wheel of fortune. All major arcana signifies major changes going on. But, you know, and, it, and it's been a struggle. Your person's going through a huge struggle. But change is coming here. And it's it's a faded, destined change. And it is a sign of good luck to come. Better things to come. You cannot stay in the Five of Wands or the Seven of Swords energy forever. Okay? Whoever it is is tired of these responsibilities. They, they want change. And, and this is a faded, destined change. So they are moving toward their destined, faded path here. 
trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, let's get the mutual energies here, please, for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, Spirits, for January 2020. When I do the extended reading, for those of you that are brand new, it's another 15 plus or minus minutes, but I go in great depth on the cards, okay? I'll do a lot of clarification using other tarot decks as well as oracle decks, and uh, we'll, we'll find out better what's going on, and usually it's a lot longer than 15 minutes. I gotta tell you, I think the last one was, I don't remember, 40 minutes or something crazy, but anyhow, to let you know, I do use other decks. I'll also do pick a card using the Romance Angels. We'll see if there's any love messages. I'm also going to use my other cards. These are a fairy oracle deck that I just absolutely love. They're brand new, uh, recently brand new. I'm going to do a peek at February 2020 and see if there's any improvements, especially towards Valentine's Day. I'm still waiting for my Valentine's Day cards. Ooh, passion offer. You may offer your person or they may offer you or it might be mutual that you offer each other passion. Okay, maybe a night of passion. Well, that's not so bad as a Scorpio. <laughs> ah, I'm talking to the right people. Let's <laughs> keep going. We're going to find out what this is about. But this can also indicate that this is somebody who's very driven and very passionate. It could be you, could be your person. Mutual energies, both of you. You may be both very passionate and very driven right now. Let's keep going. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what are the messages between Scorpio and their person that they need to hear? Stuck, feeling trapped. There you go. Yeah, they're wanting to get away, Scorpio, or you both are. Um, however it resonates for you, okay? Somebody wants to get to heck out of Dodge and take off with what they can. They are so fed up with all the responsibilities. They're collaborating with friends or family or attorneys or somebody regarding making this massive change here. And they're keeping it under wraps. It could involve a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, um, Taurus again, Libra, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay. What are the mutual feelings, please, between Scorpio and their love interest? You may both be feeling stuck, trapped in this relationship together, or your person is feeling trapped somewhere else and they can't get to you, and so you're both kind of feeling it. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, spirits, for January 2020. New idea, creative new business. Okay, so this is the same as the Ace of Wands. Uh, this is about starting something brand new. Maybe you or your person wants to start something brand new together. Um, as a couple and work together on this relationship, but this can also definitely mean that they're collaborating with a group of friends or coworkers or somebody, friends, um, other people in, in making a new business work. Maybe this is the change. They want to change jobs as well as get away from the responsibilities they have. Maybe that's their out is to start a new business or basically come up with a new plan on how to create something brand new in order to be able to move forward because maybe they're trapped due to money. Okay, that could be because we've got pentacles and pentacles here. Pent or Well, wands here. So this is the action of making that change and going through a period of conflict. Maybe somebody in their surroundings doesn't agree with the change they want to make. Okay, maybe they're trying to get unstuck and financially they haven't been able to get unstuck. So they're putting together a new business plan in order to make more money to become unstuck. And they're very driven and passionate about making this change, but they need more money to make it. That could be as well. That's just um, for some of you, of course. Action, willpower, journey. Oh, yeah. You guys are moving forward. This is the chariot. Okay, the chariot is the card of cancer. You could be dealing with a cancerian. Oh, and the wheel of fortune as well. Taurus, um, the fixed signs, Aquarius, Leo, and Scorpio. So this may create huge change for you and for them because this chariot is moving forward on a destined, faded path. Again, change coming, but this is a faded, destined change in order to move forward. This can mean an actual physical journey. Somebody's going to travel, maybe you to them, them to you. Let's find out. Wheel of Fortune. Then we're going to go into the extended. I'm going to pull a Mystic Moon Oracle here as well. I haven't used them much, but I'm going to use it today. Yeah, see, somebody's holding out here. Woo! Somebody's holding back. More, more Earth energy, which we've been getting in all of our readings. Somebody's holding back. They're making a drastic change. They're keeping it under wraps. They're collaborating with somebody else, either regarding business, uh, regarding um, with an attorney, consulting with them 
whatever it is, they're ready to lay down this responsibility. There's been too much arguing, fighting, or just disagreements or challenges they're coming across, but they're working on it. They're figuring out a way. They are manifesting everything within their power to make these changes here. They aren't telling, they're in the no tell motel mode here. <laughs> they're not telling anybody and probably not even you, okay? Uh, so if they're not talking right now, they are really preoccupied. That's what I'm seeing. They are doing a lot of work here. They're putting in the work and the effort and how to figure out on how to go about getting out of these heavy responsibilities. But they're doing it with passion and intent and they are moving forward. Okay, so let's see where we're going with this. We're going to have to find out, you know, um, are they coming towards you? Are you toward them? Okay, where's the action? Tens turn into aces. We have an ace rate, sorry, we have an ace rate here moving forward on a brand new beginning. How is the brand new beginning going to look like? There's somebody's holding back. Somebody's guarded, protecting themselves um, or you. Again, it can go either way, but this is somebody that has great intent, great passion. They're driven. They're trying to figure it out. They are, I'm seeing that this person is really focused on this change here, and it's going to be a huge change that's going to affect us Scorpios here. So whether that is your person or somebody in business, I feel it is definitely a love interest here because there's passion offer here so you may receive an, an offer of passion or this is like again you both being driven you both being stuck right now but you're driven uh maybe you have a new business or a new idea that you're putting into place maybe you both do and huge changes are coming here huge opportunities when the wheel of fortune shows up that's all about timing so there's a timing issue here okay like i said Somebody's got to get past this conflict first and somebody's figuring out their path and I feel it's your person, but they're at the end of that. Okay, so this is again timing. They're ready to lay this down. They're just figuring out the finalities, I feel, of how to do that. They got to get out of this uh, these challenges first. They're still in challenge mode here. So let's go and uh, pull a mystic moon here for us. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, the messages they need to hear. So these are by Mystic Moon. Recognition. They're getting recognition right now. See those two beautiful people right there? They're getting recognition, or you are perhaps, either in business, a job, or being able to get out of these heavy burdens and, and get away from feeling trapped here. Okay. I want one more, one more, and then we'll, we'll go to the extended. I hope this is resonating for you. Leave me comments down below. Again, if you want to get in the bracelet giveaway, all you need to do is hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the video. It's all free, and then uh, hit the notification bell because if you don't, you won't get any notification of who the winners are. And you can check that out in the playlist as well. Go look under giveaways, and you'll see the previous video I did of the winners. Okay, and again... Oh, I forgot to mention, for those of you that haven't won yet, your names are carried forward to the following month, so I give three away each month. So if you don't win this month, absolutely, you might win the following month. It keeps rotating, okay, is my point. Okay, there's too many cards. Come on, I'm going to take the first one that dropped here. Shadow work. Okay, somebody's got to work on their shadow work first, okay? They have, they've got to lay down these burdens and work on themselves, or you do. Maybe you both do. That's why you were stuck feeling trapped, you know, Sometimes the universe has other ideas for us. They have to work on themselves. You have to work on yourselves before you can come together. We're going to find out where we're going from here, Scorpio. I'm so excited. Let's go check it out. Now, in the extended, I dig so deep. As most of you know that are returning, I always dig deep. Today, I'm going to use the Colette Baron Reed as well. I love these cards. And I'm going to use the Fairy deck as well, the Fairy Tarot deck as well. And we're going to do more clarifying with the 1960s and 1970s deck. So let's see where we're going from here. I'm going to dig my heels right into February. For those of you that resonated, I will see you there. And for those of you that will see me next time, I will see you next time. Thank you, Scorpio. I appreciate you all so very, very much. Namaste.